Do not quit that job. Are you crazy? I know Gary Vaynerchuk is telling everybody, quit your job, quit your job. He quit that fucking job. Unless you have a trust fund or your dad owns a liquor store, I don't think that's a good idea. You want to know what to do if you go to a job that you hate? I say keep going. You're selling cars. Yes. You probably hate doing it because you want to be doing something else. But what if you could bring your own style to selling the cars and you crush it and you make money and you enjoy it and you have a great time and you put your personality into it instead of resenting it and learn what you need to do every day to show up and do something that you hate and actually enroll people in buying cars and then you will develop the skills that you need in, that are gonna serve you in this business that you want, which is running your own thing and selling yourself. Do not quit that job, are you crazy? I know Gary Vaynerchuk is telling everybody, quit your job, quit your job. He quit that job. Look, if yeah. your best moment is Friday afternoon, that means you hate your Monday through Friday. If the job sucks, bounce. Unless you have a trust fund or your dad owns a liquor store, I don't think that's a good idea. I think that you should keep it and develop the discipline to show up there every day, bring your full self to it, put your personality into it, crush it in less time, and then take everything that you're learning about working with people you can't stand, about selling to people that don't wanna buy something, about being positive in an environment that's really difficult, in setting a goal every month and freaking crushing it. Stick with it for six months, a year, and then if you've done it and you've learned everything you've needed to learn and you've been hustling on the side, building this other thing, you'll have the skills you need to step into it and crush it. But do not quit that job right now. All right? All right. You know how many jobs I had that I hated? Chris? How many jobs did you have that you hated, dude? Probably 15. I bet I had 27. Wow. I would not be an incredibly successful entrepreneur, and neither would he, if we hadn't failed or showed up at a bunch of shit jobs first. Learn on somebody else's done. And by the way, if you quit and now you're strapped for cash, you're gonna do a super sh job at your social media and everything else. Because you're gonna put all the pressure of earning money on the, your dreams. Bad move. Now what do you think about network marketing? I love it. Really? They give you a business and all the support you need and just pick a company that you're really energized by. Because yeah. you're selling, you, you, your ability to be successful in network marketing comes down to your authentic belief yeah. in, this, in the things that you're selling. It is true. I mean, I believe that you will be better ultimately in a situation where you're fully passionate about it, but you have so many years ahead of you to identify what that is. So when you're not selling cars, you're you're exploring whatever, you know, this guy's smart is or whatever all those totally. other things are. Totally. Totally. And what you're going to learn about him, you'll bring back into the car thing. Yeah. You're not going to be selling cars for the rest of your life. So what no. the f do you care? Go like get selfish and absorb everything you can from it and make a mental note. I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do that, yeah. I wouldn't do the other thing. You know, I'm, we're about to launch this massive project that I can't talk about, but I've been on the other side of the project. I've seen how other people have done it. And I'm already in my head like, well, I'm not gonna do it that way. And when people come to my thing, this is what's gonna happen because I didn't like how I was treated when I, like, you will learn so much about what not to do. Six months, go for it. You in, Gil? I'm in.